Hello guys, welcome to DTW Tutorials. Welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to calculate your post UME admission score. Okay, that's um, how to combine your JAM score, the post UME score, and also your YX score to get your final, you know, admission cutoff mark. Okay, and I'm if this is your first time on this channel, DTW Tutorials, an educational channel on YouTube where we support students. Okay, with free videos on maths, physics, and some English. Okay, uh, on for your JAM, your YX your junior YEC, definitely your post UME, several motivational videos to support you in your education. So please, if, if this is your first time, please click the subscribe button to subscribe and share this channel with your friends, family and loved ones. You have a lot of past questions solved that can support you in your exams. Okay. And uh, also give this video a thumbs up and share, please. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. All right, let's get on to this video now. So how do you calculate your admission score? So there are some some things that we have to know about um, the, the post UME uh, method, the screening. Now, the first thing is JAM requires every institution to adapt, that's every university or uh, polytechnic, to adapt to either two of these options uh, for their aggregate score. You know, the aggregate score will be 100%. So it's either it's a combination of your UTME score, post UME, T, uh, post UTME score, or your SSC, that's your YEC results. Or it's just your UTME score and post UME, or it's um, just your UTME and YEC results. Okay, so it depends on which the school um, chooses. Okay, so uh, you you will notice some school don't do post uh, post UME. They just use you just go for your physical screening. You know they'll see you dress well. They'll see your appearance. You go to confirm your uh, UTME score and also confirm your uh, YEC um, certificate, your YEC results. So all that you do is just use your UTME and your YEC results. That's for school that don't do post UME. But some school will use your YEC, will use your post UME and will use your JAM exam, that's your UTME, um, the JAM exam itself, okay? And everything, the aggregate must be 100%, so it depends on your cutoff mark, uh, but I think GAM, uh, I think um, JAM cutoff mark for any school, the aggregate score cutoff mark is from 40% upwards, but you know some schools are uh, you know, the competition to get in, into some schools will raise that particular percent up upwards. That's why you see, you know, like some um, some cutoff mark would be about 70 percent for some department because a lot of people uh, you know, struggling to get into Unilag and that particular department for the course. Okay, so this is one point. Another point that we have to know is, you know, your the um, YS scores are assigned grades. So this is one of the the grade system. There are several grade systems. Okay, you see a grade system that will, will say um, A1 is um, equal to. I've seen one that said A1 is equal to four. It says uh, B2 is equal to 3.6. It says uh, C4 is 3.2. Uh, C, I think C, uh, okay, no, no, this is not 3.2. Okay, 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 this is 3.2 is for B3, okay, and uh, C4 is um, in some particular grading system is 2.8, C5 is uh, 2.4, and uh, C6 is uh, 2.0, okay, uh, in some, some of these grades, B2, like for this one that is mentioned here. B2 and B3 takes the same um, grade point. So, several schools with their the way of assigning grades. But okay, but for for this video, I'm going to be using this. Okay, so have your Y uh, results are assigned what grades? Okay, so it means please, if you've been taking your Y likely, I would advise that you take it serious and um, when your YEC result is out you don't really like it it's not too high you can take the private YEC that's um, GCE and it's usually done about two times now in a year so you can do it in January okay and put awaiting results all right that's if you're registering for JAM 2020 okay so make sure you have a very good yx course because jam as i think it's a compulsory that it is added to your aggregate score so make sure you do well you can see getting an a1 and a b2 pays you okay all if you start getting ccc you can see the max and it can affect your your aggregate score okay now i'm going to show you the percent each of these takes 
all right so the next thing is the weight of your jam score that's your utm score your post UM score and ssc score as follows okay and it's set on uh, your caps okay i think in the future i'm also going to do a video about the caps and how you go about um caps okay by your admission officer of your university and um jam said for your jam score that's your utm score is 50 percent post UM score is 30 percent while your ssc that's your yx score is what 20 percent so a total of what 100 percent okay and if your school doesn't um do post UME, so it means uh your jam score will be 50 while your yx score will be 50 so you can imagine if you score quite low in your yx it would affect your aggregate score okay so let's do an example quickly here so this is an example now let's say a candidate has okay got 280 in jam his yx results are this uh, math chemistry biology english physics economics geography okay you know when you fill in for your jam okay there are five compulsory wire um, sub subject for each course for each course you want to select and for a particular university okay so um let's say it's an engineering course so the person will definitely need, need the maths um chemistry biology english which is compulsory and physics so these are the five uh, composite subject for any science-based course in, in a university all right so that's these are the five subjects we're going to use so he got what um the candidate got 280 in jam so what you do um to get the 50 percent of this 280 for your this for your jam for your jam all you need to do is say 280 divided by what eight okay and what's 280 divided by eight you get what 35 watts percent okay and for the yec now for the yec maths uh maths is what a1 and what's the the point the grade for a1 is what six uh chemistry c4 and what's the grade for c4 is three uh biology b2 and what's the grade for b2 is what four uh, english c5 and what's the grade for c5 we have what two and physics is what uh c6 what's the grade for physics c6 is what one and the total of this is uh this is 9 10 and this is what 16. so to get you know our work is graded as what 20 percent so to get um 20 percent of this all we need to do is say 16 divided by what 30 times what 20. so why 30 because each grade the max the maximum it can get is what six and six times uh, five subjects is what 30 so this, the max that you can get if you get a one trial is just is 30 okay that's six times five so when we do this we're going to get punching your calculator we're going to get what 10.66 percent so we can presume this to what 10 point was seven what percent okay now for the post UME, post UME had was 62 points so let's say this university use um the total score for your uh the, the total score for the post UME exam is 100 100 so we have for the post UME to get the percentage which is what 30 percent all we need to do is say 62 divided by 100 times what are uh, 30. okay so when we punch in the calculator this is for our post UME let me write this here so when we punch in our calculator we are going to get what 18 point what six percent okay so this total aggregate score now will be equal to what 35% plus 10.7% plus 18.16% and what would this give us this would give us a total of what 64.3% okay which is a quite which is quite high our total career score is what 100% which is quite high so in any good university it depends on department you know medicine department is quite their cut off mark in most schools is quite high but i think for sciences and engineering this particular aggregate uh, your this score here would give you grant you an admission so this is how you calculate your post ume score okay so thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share this video with you with your friends family and your loved ones and uh, if you have any questions feel free drop a comment i'll try to respond to them and don't forget also to subscribe to this channel okay subscribe and click the notification bell and one more thing before we go don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon.
give your life to Christ. For he is the way, he is the truth, and he is the life. And he's waiting for you. No matter the sin you think you've committed, he will forgive you. All right? And also, he would help you also forgive yourself. All right? And move on with life in Christ, which is a new life. Okay? So, thank you, thank you for staying tuned to DTW Tutorials. You are destined to win. See you in our next video.